What's going on guys, it is Peyton Fisher, and on this channel we talk all things real estate and construction. Right now we are at the 2022 Parade of Homes, and we are going inside of the Ponderosa. This is a visionary home. Let me turn you around here. Right here, this home is 2,147 square feet, four, bathroom, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. It's on two floors, and it has a three car garage. This probably looks like one of the most modern homes that we've seen. Super cool. Let's get inside and take a look. All right, nice privacy door, lots of windows on the front here. Oh, waited too long. Hello. All right, when we come in here, is this the model so, home? Yeah, this is their model oh, home. Oh, okay. I was like, why is there a wall? Yeah, this will be blocked off. Horses. Okay. There'll be a, a door there one of these days. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Cool lighting right when you come in. Super tall ceilings. So mass amounts of windows and tons of stone all the way up to the top, which is really, really cool. All right, so we'll go to the left here. It's a little bit smaller of bedrooms. However, I have to say I love the lighting, can lights. Fan is a little bit low, so if you're pretty tall, like I can touch that. If you're a tall guy, you might whack your head on that. Uh, pretty views, lots of houses, very close. So let's back onto this room. Excuse me. You know, yeah. Excuse me. Where you get, you may not get oh, So that. some fun texture on this back walls. It's like a a carpet material and fun headlights for the bed, including the lights on the ceiling and really big window. And another window, so lots of natural light coming into here, which is really good. And then looks like we've got a Jack and Jill bathroom. We've got the floating countertops again, which is really nice. Fun light fixtures. And an awesome shirt. There we go. Those tiles look really nice. I'm surprised they didn't go all the way to the ceiling, probably. I was going to say because they didn't have to cut them, but I don't know. The textures on these walls are a little bit heavier than what I've seen, especially on the ceiling. Those are much heavier textures. And it looks like we've got a third bedroom upstairs. Again, lots of lights. Now there is not a fan in this room, so I'd be worried about a little bit of heat getting in here. A laundry room upstairs, fun tile on the floor. And you've got your built-in cabinets above, which is nice, and a sink with water. As we come down, let's go to the right first. So just a standard linens closet here. Into, I don't know if this is the master or not. I'm guessing it might be that huge sliding glass door. And then get your ceilings back with a bit of a shiplap and speakers in here, which is really nice. And then you've got nice big windows on both sides of the bed. I think this is the first barn door I've seen. Uh, maybe there was more. Whoa. This floor is crazy. I really like it though. Dark, dark tile with everything else light though. It, it kind of pops. And you've got your ES washer and dryer. 
hallelujah. Oh, excuse me. And then again, floating vanities. And then master. So it looks like we've got a his and a hers. I'll turn around here. Actually, I'm guessing this is just going to be hers. He'll have to find somewhere else to part his clothes. So as we turn around here nice and slow. Standard bathroom. All right, let's go check out some more. So into the living room. I'll give you a pan from this cool fireplace. So windows. Huge, those are probably 18 to 20 feet tall up there. So you've got a kitchen table here, and then you've got another island here. You've got uh, two big double ovens. Microwave on top. Now, for anybody short, they're going to have a hard time reaching that. Really fun texture, though, on the, the hood vent. And then here is this. All right, so in the backyard, we've got this fun landscaping, these rocks, and then we've got a nice big area over here you can relax in. And it is really nice to have all of this with non-grass so that way you don't have to deal with mowing it and these sliders I just love they're so big we've got one more half bath ooh man I love this it's super busy but it's fun at the same time so instead of just the backsplash there, they did the whole back wall, which I will definitely be doing that in my house one day. And then this chevron, mini, there's like baby chevrons, which are epic. I love those. Super awesome. Hello. And then this would be a two car garage? Three car. Three car. Oh, is there another one over there? Oh, okay. So this would be a garage be interesting with big windows oh there's a third car over here okay we'll sneak over here excuse me so nice and deep get a side by side or a golf cart or whatever you need to in here um this is their model home that's why they have all of these windows in here which would make sense uh, this is definitely a cool place and then out here you'll be able to drive in and turn into your uh, garage there. All right, so any home that is in the Parade of Homes that is in desert color, I'm down here with Kenzie right here, and she's taking me through a quick tour of what's going on inside. So let me turn you around here. Kim. All right, so this is the Shores Resort. So this pool here is heated in the winter months, can be used year round. And then you've got the hot tub there. Um, back this way, you've got locker rooms, changing rooms, exterior showers, and even towel service. So they'll provide the towels and laundry room for you. Nice. And then that over there will eventually be a full service restaurant and bar. Okay. And what do we have over and here? Over here, this is going to be a snack bar. So serving more light snacks and drinks. And then on each side, you have identical loggia lounges. So these are great in the summer. They're shaded, they have some fans, so you can get out of the sun, hang out, watch a game. Awesome. Oh, it's like legit heavy. And then if we go up on the 
sun deck here. This is where you'll get the best views of the lagoon. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, I've only seen this via a drone. Yeah, so gives you a little bit of a different feel. So is it open? Like, can do people come in here now already, or? The lagoon is open right now. It's not heated though, so it's, <laughs> we don't see much usage in the winter months. Um, but we did have people out this weekend on paddle boards and kayaks out there. Okay. We got the sun deck up here with more lounge areas, and then that looks out onto the lagoon. So it's a two and a half acre. Um, Sam's two and a half acres. It is lined and chlorinated though. Wow. And approved for non-motorized sports, so you can swim, paddleboard, kayak. So all of these are nightly rentals. Correct. Yes. So this whole subdivision right here will be all nightly rentals, also. Everything from those white townhomes and these homes getting framed right here. Okay. Over is zoned for nightly rentals. So nightly rentals, and, and then, then everything up on this ridge, and then back all the way to the Arizona borders primary residence. Okay, and do they have access to, can you buy a membership down here or? So they, they get access through their HOA dues. Okay, and is there a workout facility? There is not. No, not okay. Not it, no. Awesome, well thank you so much, appreciate course, your time. absolutely. Okay, let's see here. If you guys have any questions or comments about Desert Color, go ahead, uh, call me, my number's below, and we'll see you guys on the next tour. Now, what did you guys think of this house? A, I love how big the vaulted ceilings are. Uh, 20 foot tall ceilings, those were incredible. Uh, how much glass is in there is incredible. Now, the only downside to having a ton of glass is you have to clean that glass every time it rains. You get a little dust out here and it just makes those windows look absolutely horrible. However, thankfully, it only rains maybe 30 times a year here we get about 300 days of sun and so and on a lot of those days it doesn't even rain so i would say this home was epic i loved it just clean nice not over the top not underdone uh it's just amazing so what did you guys like what did you dislike let me know talk to you soon